Here with head coach Dan Davis as the Warhawks pick up win number 10 against Brush today in the Holiday Classic. Coach, uh, I'll tell you what, you guys look like you've taken some time off there in the first half and uh, came out a little sluggish, but uh, man, you guys really flipped the switch there at halftime. Yeah, most definitely, you know, and I thought our energy, you know, the warm-ups, the locker room, you know, was good, but I, you're right, you know, I just thought the first quarter, we you said it sluggish for whatever reason, both offense and defense. I thought in the second quarter we fought to get, get it back down to 7-4, uh, and they hit the three kind of at the end of the quarter. And you know, At halftime, we just tried to tell them, listen, to quit, don't panic. We've been in this situation before this year. Come back one, it's a seven-point game. We're right there, and shots are going to fall. Keep executing. But defensively, I thought we needed to do some things better. You talked about uh, cutting the deficit down to seven at halftime. You guys were down by as many as 14 there in the first half. But uh, went on in the, into the fourth quarter. Uh, really, the third quarter kind of turned the page there for you guys, and uh, you guys tied it up. And then in the fourth quarter, you guys had as much as a nine-point lead. So just talk about that second half. You know, Tory played uh, some, uh, uh, made some some very Tory-esque plays, and Keonda Mason really gave you a spark off the bench. Uh, and Keonda has this the situation we've been in with some of these injuries. You know, that we've had. I mean, we've had to play some players that haven't been playing as many minutes and. You know, you're looking back on it right now, and it's only making us that much better because, you know, K K uh, uh, Kiki, we call, you know, Keonda Kiki, you know, really has played well over the last three games. And tonight was huge with Gotti sitting the whole first half in foul trouble. You know, she was huge. And then we made that change. We just thought about, you know, going a little bit bigger as far as length and some things, put Gotti on the perimeter uh, in our zone a little bit because they were shooting it well and, you know, spreading us out a little bit. And Kiki, you know, was doing well defensively in the middle. But, yeah, I thought she was big. And you're right, you know, Tori – Tori in that second half really made some plays. And then, uh, you know, you and I were just talking about, I thought Kalen hitting threes, coming out hitting, what, five in the second half, five threes in the second half, if I'm correct, or four for five in the second half, and, you know, getting some momentum there. Uh, and give them credit. I think when we were up nine, right, they, you know, we kind of had two defensive breakdowns. I hit them two threes in the corners a little bit. But, again, I liked how my team didn't panic and kind of showed some resiliency. We executed down the stretch and, you know, got the shots we needed in, in the right people's hands. All right, we've uh, we've talked enough about this game. Let's talk about tomorrow. You got a uh, uh, a real challenge. Uh, you saw some things probably today that Faulkner did to uh, to try to neutralize the uh, the nation's leading scorer. Did a nice job on her. Uh, what are the keys for tomorrow against Shawnee? You know, you know what I'm probably about to say. I think first and foremost we got to do what we do. You know.